South Africa is just 22 years. Imagine if it was a human being. You would still be trying to help to grow. But we have done very well in the 20 years, two decades. We wish you a happy Freedom Day today. While the president called for patience, he also reminded the audience that a lot had been accomplished. It seems that those who traveled from far and wide definitely agreed. Now we are getting feeding scheme from the school and we also have the housing, when the, uh, the free education and also even the water now is coming from us because the water population is all over around the South Africa. That make us happy. The big change that I see is the change of education. Uh, we start from grade R up to grade 12, not paying anything. We don't pay up to so far. And they were still fighting for universities uh, not to pay anything until you get the job, you work, and uh, uh, fees must fall. We've got better job creation in South Africa, although we know that there are some other challenges, but the government is working hard to solve I mean, those things. Our, our sisters are getting child grants. Our mothers are, go, I mean, are getting child, I mean, child grants the same as our, our, our grandmothers who are getting, I mean, 1.5 as we speak now. When did this government come, it have changed my life, my parents' lives, because we're living in the poverty. The government give me next fast. I went to the college, then I learned the job. Uh, so I'm employed for myself. I'm a self-employed. I drill water, I put palms, I get small standards. Then I took my sibling to school because of the ANC. In future, I wish that all these people that are jobless, they can get jobs. All these people that uh, are hopeless, they can have hope and they can get free education as we want. Big day here in Guiani in Limpopo province with the president coming out and telling people to start working together and getting on with things and making sure that they work together as a team so that they can actually build the country, find jobs and do what's needed. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Guiani. South Africa's president may have enjoyed a warm reception at his Freedom Day rally, but here in Cape Town and other cities there were demonstrations calling for Jacob Zuma to step down. I am a proud South African. I am here because I feel that Jacob Zuma is taking our country down the drain. And it's about time that South Africans stand up and say enough is enough. Whether they were protesting or partying, South Africans generally agree that the 27th of April will always be about the celebration of the country's democracy. And the victory of freedom over years of apartheid oppression. So for me, the Freedom Day is like everything and it means a lot to me. And I am, to say this one more time, I'm proud to be part of it. So much went into gaining this freedom that we now have. And um, it's something that we should really lift up in every moment of our living and make sure that we retain this freedom and we can also pass it on to future generations. I think it's nice that everyone can come together as one. I think before even you say I'm a white person, black person, everyone here is just here for the same purpose. Everyone wants to be together and have a good time. Renee Dalcom, CCTV, Cape Town.